elves, orcs, and cat people will be populating the continent of Tamriel when the Elder Scrolls Online launches on April 4th. Will your PC be equally prepared for pillaging Daedric ruins and ambushing innocent mud crabs? Let's take a look at some recommended specs for running the game on a wide range of settings. First, let's look at the minimum requirements. While the minimum specs might not look pretty, the Elder Scrolls Online is designed to run on a wide spectrum of builds, and so here's what Bethesda sees as the most basic requirements. You can apparently squeak by with a dual-core CPU clocking in at a minimum of 2 GHz, while their recommendations also call for only 2 GB of RAM, and they say video cards will need to be at least DirectX 9 compatible with 512 megs of video RAM. Components in this range are extremely cheap and generally outdated by current standards, but on release day you should be able to run the game on minimum settings with a rig below the current minimum tier on the logical increments parts list. But what if you want to run Elder Scrolls Online at a decent frame rate and resolution on moderate settings? We would recommend using a build that's at least comparable with the current modest or fair tiers on the parts list. These components are a good example. For the CPU, we'd recommend something along the lines of an AMD Athlon X4750 or an Intel Pentium G3220. We'd recommend at least 4GB of RAM. For the graphics card, we'd recommend something with DirectX 11 compatibility and 1GB of video RAM, like a Radeon R7260X or a GeForce GTX 750. But what if you want to experience the game on maximum settings, the way it's meant to be played? Let's see what the game needs to play on full settings, assuming a target resolution of 1080p at 60 frames a second. Since The Elder Scrolls Online is an MMORPG with a big range of environments and an occasional high number of players on the screen, it will demand a considerable amount of power to run at max settings with a solid frame rate. For the CPU on the AMD side, we recommend something like the 8-core FX 8350. With Intel, you'll want something like a quad-core i5, like the 4570. you want at least 8GB of RAM, and a video card supporting DirectX 11 with 2GB of video RAM, like a Radeon R9 270X or a GeForce GTX 760. These specs fall in around the superb and excellent tiers on the logical increments parts list. For enthusiasts with monitors that support resolutions above 1080p or refresh rates that can get you 120 FPS or higher, you might be looking for systems that'll get you even better performance levels. To run the game on max settings at higher resolutions and frame rates, we recommend checking out the parts list starting at the outstanding level and above. For a frame of reference, here's what we recommend running Elder Scrolls Online at 4K resolution and around 45 frames per second. For the CPU, you're going to want at least a powerful quad-core Intel chip, like an i5-4670K or even an i7-4770K. To be on the safe side, we'd recommend 16GB of RAM and at least 3GB of video RAM like what you get with a GeForce GTX 780. These components can be found around the exceptional and enthusiast tiers in LogicalIncrements.com. You can always go with the extremist or monstrous tiers to take the game even further. Check the Elder Scrolls Game Guide at LogicalIncrements.com for links to specific parts mentioned here, and until next time, show those mudcrabs a little mercy, alright?